that Bob is, does want to get up again. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what I was reading. Got to do with the oh, it's a moving on town meeting. Yeah. Correct. It lines up the dates for submission of warrant articles and then also changes the bylaw. Now, this has to go back to the general court for approval. No, no. this is just a bylaw amendment. Bylaw. No, nothing to do with the charter. Okay. Just the attorney general. I think that's it on the uh, warrant. Any questions by anybody? Back to our agenda. Water study report. So we're going to use the, the one that you put up today, right? For this yes. discussion? Yes. Okay. The version that was sent out today. The they really are not. The first one said draft. Yeah, they're not made. They're not major changes. The report is substantially the same, but there are a couple more things we'll put in there. I think maybe if you can start just telling us what the changes were. The reason no. why we're asking oh. that is that we we got two versions. We had the draft version for several days. Yeah. We got revised our final today, late this afternoon. Uh. I guess from the beginning, paragraph one under introduction on page, uh, first page in, was out of sequence. Page one was out of sequence? <laughs> the first paragraph, first paragraph okay. under introduction <laughs> okay. was out of sequence. That was corrected. And we added uh, some background about Ty and Bond, how often they've done this in their background. As uh, if you read the scope, that only that changed. It's part of going through the process. Uh, since we haven't done this for so many years, getting the water department data in a format that would go into the model took a little bit more time and money. Um, since the finance department hasn't done this for a while, the debt service numbers kept changing, the indirect cost changes, that took some time. And then dealing with the water commission, it took more iterations than we thought to get some feedback. So that kind of blew the budget, so I had to make some cuts at the other end. Uh, if, it's a, if it's an issue, I can get time on here to make a presentation, but we, we were just out of money, so I made that decision. And but as for a specific was, as for a specific it, rate... Wasn't it a fixed cost price for this? No, it's not lump sum. What? It's not lump sum, no. It wasn't? No, sir. It was $12,500 for 14 items. Right. And, and use that's, it, that's and predicated on the town getting stuff to the consultant at a timely manner in a format that didn't have to be massaged several times. It, it's a reasonable overage for those items, so I had to take it off at the other end to meet the budget. Okay, but you, you mentioned the Water Commission not getting this information back to you quick enough? We didn't get enough feedback, and uh, uh, the original scope was to do a fixed recommendation for a... Uh, a fixed recommendation for a rate. However, looking at feedback I got informally from you gentlemen and the Water Commission, um, there were so many variables involved that wasn't going to work. So I modified the scope to have a number of parameters, the collection rate and the table that went from breaking even to 200000 a year. So it gave a tool. The idea was to come up with a more useful tool for everybody to look at and make, make their decisions. Coming out with a report that had a single recommended rate would just delay the process. But we approved, we got the money approved, $12,500 for a study, which was the contract that we set forward with T&D. Mm -hmm. And had we delivered that to the Water Commission, what we paid for in a timely manner, then I think, I mean, cause I, I don't know what you delivered to them. Because I never saw any paperwork or any report or anything they received. You, they received my recommendation. Your recommendation? Right. Dick, we didn't buy this from you. We bought this from T and V, right? I have the contract, and, mm -hmm. and that's what I was upset about. That's why I asked you at two meetings. Well, you weren't the second one, but the first one, you said, we're not getting a, a water rate study, Mike. You're getting a model. And at the second meeting was the same answer I got from Mark. Mm -hmm. I went back and read the contract, and that's not what I understood. The, based on the feedback from the town that I got, and what actually happened once we started, the scope 
was modified to meet the needs. The original scope called for getting a bunch of data, putting together a model, and generating a number. Here's a rate. Based on my dealing with yourselves and the Water Commission, that wasn't the right answer. They wanted some options to look at and figure out what you wanted to do. So I modified the scope to give a more flexible approach. I don't recall being present at any of those meetings. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't okay, privy to it. But no, we weren't. Basically, I mean, that was done. It was done. In, Wait, there were two meetings that were done internally. Correct. Yeah. There was no meeting. You gentlemen weren't involved in that part of it. And in early February, we tried to get the Water Commission involved, and we didn't really get them to engage until mid-March, like six weeks later. That just why, why was the delay there? What, what happened with us? Uh, issue with the quorum. Actually, no, they had a quorum, but one of the members lives in Florida for the winter, and they weren't back yet. I think we really have to address the Water Commission and the makeup. Of Dick, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I hate to keep asking this question, but I'm reading the contract. And you keep saying that we changed the scope. Items 13 and 14 are modified. If you look at the first paragraph on your introduction, it narrates why. Yeah, but that was just, that's, that was so late in the process, okay? But up front, the scope never changed. I mean, collecting and analyzing the information, you know, five, six, seven, and eight, if the Water Commission was receiving all that information, I don't see how anything could have been held up because I went to those meetings and, and no one at the meeting had this stuff. You know, my point about the whole thing is we paid for this and I think we proved it in a timely manner to make sure that when we got to the water rate meetings, mm -hmm. we had all this information in place. I don't know what happened. I don't know what delayed it all. And then 13 and 14, I think were really important because we don't want the water no offense from you. We don't want this water rate study from you. We didn't buy it from you. We bought it from an independent person to come here, study, you know, specialists, people, this is what they do every day. So to me, I, I still don't know how we even able to prove what we prove when we didn't even get what we were paid for. Well, when I look at this now, Michael, this has all of the information that we asked for. Now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, so. Yeah. And, and the Water Commission, I don't think, out of fairness to them, had what we have right now. You know, they've even seen what we have right now. Well, may, that may be due to their own difficulty in getting a quorum, it sounds like. And because no, I think that, look, I, I think in order to put the uh, information that was presented to us together, there had to have been a model that allowed you to run different what-ifs. And, and, and I suspect that that was achieved or we wouldn't have, they wouldn't have been able to put those numbers together. Correct. The thing, the problem I had was in, in looking at this was that in the process of this collected information, it was never put into a report so that we can look at it and use it in the future. You know, I find very interesting, you know, where we really stand with the water rates compared to other communities uh, and some of the other things that, you know, we're collected as part of this study, and it's only now that we have it. So I think there was a communication breakdown when the presentation was made to the board back when we were talking about the water rate, because it was said, no, this is all that uh, we asked for. In reality, we asked for more, and you know, I don't know whether it was a confusion as to the fact that the scope could change and it wasn't relayed to us because no one ever mentioned the scope being changed. And therefore, when a board member looked at the, uh, the scope of work, you know, there were two end items that were you know, clearly missing. And when there was a gentleman over here, I don't know who he was, when he challenged you know, the information we were using, we didn't have the background to say, no, it's all here. We can believe this. So I think, you know, that was my concern. Yeah, but in, in, in fairness to the Water Commission, 14 is the biggest part of that for them. Because the portion where it says the final report and proposed rates and fees to the Board of Public Works, which I assume is 
mean, they meant the Water Commission, right. and it, to attend a public meeting with the Board of Selectmen to present the proposed rates. <coughs> I could be okay wiping that piece out, but I think if you had all this information, the report pulled together and presented to the Water Commission, I think we would have been a heck of a lot better off than where we are right now. Well, I don't see anything changing. Is yeah, I don't see the conclusion changing. Yeah. But I just, yeah. I, I'm happy that I have this information. Okay, Steve. Give me, give me one, give me your rationale why you say that. You read it. We are the highest, besides Reading, we have the highest water rate around. So go ahead, explain it to me. An enterprise fund is designed to, to cover the cost of your operations, right? So whatever and we're not the doing that. We're, we're exceeding so that by 100000 maybe more a year. Just because of the way that we just set the rates in order to make sure that we... To pay we back 100000 bucks. So, but you asked me. Yeah, go on. I want yeah, to hear it. I, I don't really... I mean, it's interesting information to have how we compare to other communities in relation to the cost of, you know, yeah. water. That's interesting information to have. But it has no bearing on what it costs the town of North Reading to operate their water department. It may have, you know, take, uh, take pause and say, are we doing things efficiently? Uh, I feel we are. But we also have additional costs that none of those other communities have. We purchase water from another community, Andover, outside the basin, as a result of something that happened 30 years ago. You know, so the cost is what it is. And yes, in the new rates, we, we built in a cushion to pay back money that we borrowed from ourselves from other accounts. So, I mean, but the cost of operating our, our enterprise is what it is. And as a result, based upon what we sell, we have to raise the revenue in order to do it. You know, unless you're going to transfer it back into the, to the tax rate, how else are you going to pay for it? So, I mean, what Reading pays, what Brookline pays, interesting information. Really? Then why do we have it in the report? If we're not going to do anything with it, if you're not saying it's kind of meaningless, it's just interesting information, it's interesting then why do we pay a consultant to provide it, and why we're going to do nothing with it? Well, that was only a good little piece of it. That's a very small I, piece. I understand. It's a very small piece of what but it's information part, The point of the process that we all elected and we voted on was to have TMB complete that contract. And it wasn't done. And in fairness to our Water Commission, they didn't get the information to even help make the right or make the decision. Whether it was right or wrong, it doesn't matter. They didn't have the information. So I know we're way beyond this, and I know we're beating a dead horse at this point. Not me. Did I say two me. things? Yeah, I'm, I'm beating a dead Did horse. I, two things? I, I think because of issues with the Water Commission, they weren't part of the process. That's yeah, one. Yeah. Exactly. What jumps out at me is paragraph three. Maybe it's explained somehow, but unaccounted for water has ranged from 14 to 18 percent over the last few years in this community. I mean, we're, we're throwing water away someplace. Yeah. I didn't, and there's money we more know. in there, in this thing. No, I think, I think that's significant. Well, I mean, these are things that I would assume. But I, I mean, I heard. The will address as a result of getting this information. We do an annual statistical report to the DEP. That's where Ty and Bond got these numbers from. And every year, we do a leak detection survey. They go out and try to find these leaks. They walk the entire system. They find leaks and they fix them immediately. You cannot have a water system that doesn't have things leaking. So this is a this is a function of uh, things leaking and uh, meters needing to be replaced. On an annual basis, we have 14 to 18 percent of. Oh, we, we oh, yeah. had some, some communities are 50 to 80 yeah. percent. That, that's actually some, not a bad number. The standard for the yeah, state is 10 percent. Uh, bad situations. That I am not a water specialist, and neither are you, but this board approved something without all the information. And I, yeah, I have a problem with it. You already know that. But I don't, and I think we have to make some decisions tonight so this doesn't happen again next year. And I think we have to, at this point, start with the Water Commission. Okay, because let me tell you, I went to the meetings, and it was, I don't mean to be harsh, but it was dysfunctional. So my recommendation after we get through this is we have a discussion about the Water Commission tonight too. Maybe he's just disbanding it and having everybody resubmit you know, a, a car with their background and their, and their dedication so they're not gone for six months a year so we can get a Water Commission that is educated, understanding of, knowledgeable about water to help us who we're not. 
educated about. I agree. Life.